Okay, so now we're continuing our talk about 9.6. And here I have a very complex compound statement that we're going to make a truth table for as an example of a tautology. All right, so this starts off with one compound statement, P or Q. We know now that one works. That one is the disjunction, and it's easy to make true. It's true anywhere either of them is true. And it's false only when they're both false. So far, so good. Now I've got this other compound statement in the square brackets made of a couple negations connected together with a conjunction. So the first one is the negation of P, which is FFTT, an exact opposite of P's TTFF. And then I'm going to need the negation of Q, which is the exact opposite of here. So it goes FTFT, exactly opposite of this one. And then I look at their conjunction negation of P and the negation of Q. Easy to make tr false. It's false when either of them is false. It's only true when both are true. So this gets falses all the way along here. The only truth gets is down here. Now, I'm going to look at the disjunction of this column, which is the square statement, and this column, which is the rounded one. So now I'm going to look at P or Q disjuncted with not P and not Q. Now, that's a lot of writing, and when you write your truth table, you may not have that wide of a column. So let me give you a little bit of a shorthand you can do for that. If I look at this column, and I just call that one one, and I look at this column, and I call that one two, then another way I can write up that third column there is just by saying one or two, okay? So if I just say one, blue, or two. That gets the message across. That's really what I've got here. This is one and this is two, actually. Look it up. And so now what I'm doing is I'm going to fill in the tooth column for this, these two columns. It's this plain disjunction I've gotten before. So it's true anywhere one of them is true. All right. It's only false if they're both false, which never happens. They are never both false. This disjunction is always true, no matter what values of P and Q are put in here. So this one is called a tautology. And that means it has a constant truth value. It's not a conditional. It's always true. This says something about these statements. In fact, if, if you take any two logically equivalent statements and join them with a disjunction, you'll form a tautology. That's what we've got here. This statement. And this one happened to be logically equivalent. I can leave you to prove that for yourself. But when you disjunct two logically equivalent statements, you get a tautology.